Hello, James here, and welcome to the video, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the RuneScape 2017 survey. I'm going to persuade you, and uh, then I'm going to talk about my answers in the survey. So this, it takes about 20 minutes, and if you play RuneScape, which I'm pretty sure most of you watching this do, as RuneScape is probably the main game that I do videos about, it's definitely worth investing 20 minutes of your time to uh, shape the future of the game and get the content that's more suited to you and that you'll enjoy more so you have a better gaming experience. Now when I go through this survey and talk about the results I've chosen, my main aim is not to try and persuade you to try and do the same as me, but rather than to make you think about the answers you're going to give. And if I get at least one extra person to do this survey, then I think it's worthwhile. And also please don't like dislike the video if you disagree, but if you like the video or if you dislike it overall, then rate accordingly. So it takes about 20 minutes, and uh, the first lot of questions is, on average, how many hours per week do you play RuneScape? And for me, this is going to be, it's going to be different for everyone, 6 to 15 hours for me, I am guessing. And uh, what type of RuneScape activities do you do? I don't really fight monsters that much, since EOC, I'm kind of glad that my RuneScape combat stats were maxed before EOC, so I don't really do that much fighting, I don't really enjoy completing everything, I don't really do quests that much, and I used to like fighting players I guess before EOC, I didn't really do PvP, but I loved mini games, I have over 590 Castle War games, and I think I've only done 2 or 3 since EOC, and I used to do like Clan Wars, uh, Fist of Guffix, Steel and Creation, I love them mini games, but I don't really do them anymore because I don't really enjoy the combat system as much. So I text, I enjoy being social. I guess that GP means general practice. I, I think one of the things I like doing in RuneScape is try and make money, even though I kind of fail at it. <laughs> Most of my skills are maxed apart from invention, so that's the one thing I'm working on. For question four, what do I enjoy most? I put a general practice. I'm taking it means general practice. So I'm, I like RuneScape in general. When was the last time you subscribed to RuneScape? So I'm guessing that means my membership as opposed to YouTube. But I'm subscribed to them on YouTube as well. And uh, let's work this out. I've been subscribed to RuneScape for... I've had membership for seven years. So £3.20 times 12 times 7 equals 268 pounds I've spent on RuneScape membership. Jesus, that is a lot. But that's like seven years of <laughs> happiness in my life. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the video. Do you consider yourself to be a RuneScape player or an old school RuneScape player? I mostly play RuneScape. I've occasionally gone on to old school just to redo like the holiday events because it's cool having like a party hat on your account, even though they're worth like hardly anything on old school. It's cool to like redo the holiday events that were before the time I started playing about 2007 and get some of the rewards that I never got, but I saw when pe when I started playing I see a lot of people had them items. Now what do I prefer about RuneScape over old school? Well, the graphics is generally <laughs> the main difference you'll notice. Um, there's the combat, evolution of combat, I'm not keen on it. I can, I can use the abilities, but I can't keep up with other people with uh, if it, in PvP scenarios. Things like the prayers, I wasn't keen on that uh, being changed around with the evolution of combat. There's been so many refinements and like ninja fixes as they are to RuneScape compared to old school. It's generally easier and nicer to play. I know that the old school team have their own developers and they've got some of these like right click functions I mean, I see uh, in videos and people can loot stuff easier and that seems cool. It's like getting their own tweaks. But RuneScape, the main game, has had years and years of this and I don't want to start my character in, over from scratch because I've spent so much time, it's ridiculous how much my game time is and there isn't really any changes that could make me want to play old school RuneScape more I mean I like watching videos of it but I don't really want to really progress my character on it Now on a scale of 0 to 10 with 10 being the highest how much would you enjoy the skill updates that are proposed for 2017? They have videos on this, I'm going to link the survey and the videos my main aim for these is probably the way they benefit me most would be to make money. Construction and skilling, you get skilling resources that could make money. Dungeoneering alternative with new changes monsters, it can be fun if you're doing it with friends, but I'm 120 dungeoneering. Player owned farm and greenhouse, now this in the video it actually looks quite fun. 
Skilling pets, I'm not really that interested in pets, and I kind of like clue scrolls as they are. I heard that old school now have like master clues, and they're like a step up from elite, which I guess it could be interesting, but I like clue scrolls the way they are. And skill specialization, be the person everyone buys from. I can kind of think of that in my mind as, it can work well, but you're going to have to spend a lot of time trying to trade people. If we were to release a new boss in game, what difficulty would it want it to be? Now, I've done General Grador, if that's how you pronounce it, a couple of times. I'm not really into bosses. The main thing that I probably kill nowadays is uh, Ganodermic Beasts for money. That, oh, that also answers question 11. It's not really a boss. It's a, it's, in my mind, it's a high level monster, but you guys are probably laughing at me now. <laughs> Should we make special attacks more powerful in EOC? I like special attacks because they used to have them before EOC. Spending time to rebalance them, no, I can think of that it'll be better used elsewhere. I kind of guess it is important to have different weapon types because you you have the uh, different weaknesses of different monsters and you want weapons to feel like they're working in different ways. I do like playing with friends in game, but usually when you want to try and do something that involves you working as a group, it takes most of the time as to organise and set your group up, as opposed to if you could play solo, you can do it straight away. And I feel like the main money making ways is heavily bossing, so it would be nice if there were some skilling ways, high level skilling or something. Now with the new solo boss, it could be interesting, but because it is a, a solo boss, but I'm guessing it will still be quite a high level as it says uh, for you to it'd be a high level one. Slayer skill to 120, I'm not interested whatsoever in skills being extended to 120. I'm happy for them to be the pretend 120, but I don't want skills any more skills to go to 120. I like 99. PvP and Wilderness Rejuvenation. Again, uh, that could be good for people that like PvP, so I guess I rated it as a 2, but it's not really for me. New Slayer Dungeon, new bosses, this could mean more money, so I'm rating this a little bit higher. Raids 2, I didn't really have, think Raids 1 was suited to me. Hunger Games style PvP mode. Now this seems quite fun. It could be like a, a mini game, kind of like, is that a, there's like one coming out for old school that I've heard, and that looks quite fun. And uh, it's, I could imagine people like hiding and fighting for resources. It's like survival Hunger Games in Minecraft. That's what comes to my mind, and that is quite fun. And uh, Wandering World bosses, I again rated that really low because we have them Zamorak demon bosses and no one does them anyway. So I don't really see why he would want any more world bosses wandering around. That frightens the hell out of you when one pops up on your screen so you don't click on it and get killed. <laughs> Some questions about quests that I'm not really into quests. Believe it or not, I actually enjoy Elemental Workshop. So I wouldn't mind an Elemental Workshop fun. Okay, everyone is going to hate me now. <laughs> I quite like the Elemental series. And uh, these explosion updates. Now, the Eastern Lands, um, I see that's the theme for Runefest as well. And I kind of, I've done some ports, but I'm not overly into ports or the Eastern Lands. Uh, Mysterious Continent. I guess that could be interesting. Players finding out all the secrets about the area. It could be some interesting stuff. Menifers, there's um, it's like an area that it's always been. No, it's not very popular that area. It might make the desert busier, but I don't think it will be that good. And an underwater city, it could be interesting. We've done the there's that recent underwater quest, and there's a few underwater quests, so it could be like making that larger, that idea larger, and having an underwater city. So I thought that might be okay. If there was a way to prestige a skill at 99, resetting it from scratch, would you be interested in that? No. Would you be interested in a way of redirecting the XP that you gain, instead of le levelling something other than yourself, or into a pet, or an NPC, or an area of your player and house? Now, I like this because I feel like I'm wasting XP now that m when my skill is maxed, I want that XP to be used elsewhere, so I kind of really like this question 26 so that uh, the XP could be actually used instead of not being used at 99 or 120. How do you find out about upcoming updates? Now this is personalised to me 
I don't really watch live streams, I don't really have the time, I watch the videos and the news posts and see stuff on social media. Now it is rare when I watch the live streams, but some of them I do watch over on YouTube afterwards. How much would you enjoy these system updates we're proposing? Player owned shops. Now I kind of like the idea of merching and making money. <laughs> But uh, I kind of dislike the idea of having to stand around and barter with people. Remember like back in the days in like when you had to try and sell stuff from World 2 and spamming what you wanted to sell your goods over and over again. That it was like a really big turn off of trying to having to wait and interact with people to get stuff to sell. Achievement slash collection system. I kind of feel like we've already got that with the achievement diaries. It does sound good, but I feel like we've already got it, which is why I vote, which is why I've chosen a number in the middle. Now, mounts in RuneScape, being able to like ride an animal to travel, that sounds so cool, in my opinion. You'd be able to run. I know, you'd, like you teleport to quite a lot of places, but being able to run faster, uh, it does sound really cool, in my opinion. Again, uh, a cast pet battler. I'm not really over interested in pets, but it does sound cool being able to like customize them. Prestige system. This was again. This was like the question previously. Sacrificing the XP you would have gained and putting it into something else. The weather system and NXT only update. Now the weather system. It sounds good because it adds more of an environmental feel. But whenever you see like a weather system in in Grand Theft Auto 5, for example, there's so many games that have weather systems. It's generally annoying when it's raining. I don't know if anyone else feels that, but if you're trying to drive and it rains, I feel uh, like it's annoying because you start sliding everywhere. And I feel like this will create its own problems in RuneScape. Like if it's raining, you might drop frame rate or it might like make your screen not so clear or something. I know there's some snowy areas in RuneScape and it, it adds more of an environmental feel to them areas. But I think if that happened everywhere, like an environmental feel everywhere, then it wouldn't be as liked. Now these questions are all personal preference. Like, well, all of them are, but well, I don't really feel like there's a need to explain them. On a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being the highest, how much would you enjoy these rework updates that we are proposing for 2017? Clan rework. Now, when I was a clan owner, I've kind of stepped down as a clan owner now, but uh, and I'm not really heavily involved with clans, but it heavily needed doing. There were so many permission system, it was so badly done, like how it was all, the settings of it, like behind the, how it's all set up, it really strongly needs doing. So I rated that accordingly, but I don't really do clans as much, but I feel it's a strong thing that needs doing. Agility rework, possibly for the lower and medium level agility, but higher level agility I think is fine now with the Prifidinus uh, agility area. And again, I'm 99 in agility, so I don't really need to train agility. Construction and POH rework. Graphical and gameplay rework for construction and more customization of the player and house. This could add some cool new features and graphical. I'm always supportive of graphical updates. As you know, I do a lot of videos about the graphics updates. Uh, chat rework. Um, sure, it adds some new tools and uh, offline messaging is something that I'm interested in and I'd support. I quite like that. I don't feel like it would uh, uh, overly needs work on though. Don't think the bank rework is needed. I'm not sure. I'd need to see mock-ups on this and like the ideas that Jedix are presenting on this because I feel like the banking system is fine at the moment. Player model rework, graphical improvements to the player character and their facial customization. This is a thing that when the characters are updated, it will look strange and people don't really like change. But for the general future of the game, graphical updates are needed, in my opinion. So I rated that reasonably high, not overly high though. So out of all of these 12, uh, please, out of all of these proposed updates, I've chosen the ones that I would like most. And uh, putting them in to order, I hope the prestige system I'm on about is, as opposed to resetting levels, it goes to, uh, it's, the, it's on about the question where the XP goes into something else as like you can sacrifice it. And there we go, that was my survey done. All of my questions answered and hopefully it will shape the future of the game better in my opinion.
So I hope you have enjoyed watching this. I know it's been a bit of a long video. And there's a RuneScape Elite Clue Scrolls video coming out soon as well. Uh, part 2 on that. But thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. And comment if you want to talk about any of the questions that are in this. Subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll speak to you soon.